An Alabama man's journey to Minneapolis is nearly complete. Terry Willis walking from Alabama to 38th in Chicago in Minneapolis, the spot where George Floyd died in police custody. Before Willis finishes his trek tomorrow, Devon Raming shows us the impact he's already made. Where are you going to? Uh, Minnesota. This has been a long, long, long journey. Since June 2nd, Terry Willis has been hiking his way from Alabama to Minnesota. One foot in front of the other, with one mission summed up in three words. Change, justice, equality. After witnessing the death of George Floyd while in the custody of Minneapolis police, Willis says the issues associated with systemic racism have reached new extremes and for far too long have claimed the lives of people who look just like him. And he says it's time people of color be seen and respected. I've been arrested over a hundred times. I've been tased. I could have been George Floyd. So I thought of the most extreme thing, which was walk a thousand miles from Alabama to the exact location where George Floyd was murdered. But before reaching the finish line, he finds himself here at Clientel Barbershop on the city's north side, where his mission is hitting home for both followers. I've been following him since day one. And people like Rory Purnell, who want to share in the same experiences Willis is marching for. I want equality. I, I want to be treated equally. When I walk in the bank to get a loan for some commercial property, I want to be able to be treated as, as just as just as anybody else that comes in. Now, just a day shy of nearing the finish line through the mission and the message, Willis is finding hope in the work that's already being done. History being made, um, yes, just so inspiring. We all know that we need change in this world. It's uh, it's sad that it's taken this long and this many murders for us all to start doing something. In North Minneapolis, Devon Roming, CARE 11 News. Tomorrow, Willis will walk from the Mall of America to the Floyd Memorial at 38th in Chicago to complete his 1,000-plus mile journey.